the illuminated cabal are desperate to start a world war, not only to whitewash their scams worldwide so that Wall Street can keep the $40 trillion they stole from us and steal another $20 trillion or more on the day the dollar dies, but it's also to try and stop the public from ever finding about our true history that has suffered 2,000 years of corruption. Putin's opposition to the Gabal's unipolar world, codename for NWO, is now not only obvious, but more than likely credible. Russia is under constant attack by the globalists who wish to exploit internal divisions to destabilize Russia and install a Zionist lapdog leader like they have in so many places, as was the case with Ukraine. On the 17th of July 2014, Malaysia Airlines Flight 17 was either shot down or blown up close to the border of Ukraine and Russia. There are now strong speculations that an assassination attempt on Putin's life was connected to the bringing down of Flight 17. Vladimir Putin was going to travel to South America for the last game of the World Cup and for the BRICS conference in Brazil, which is a direct attack on the Rothschild-headed global banking cartel's power over the global economy and financial system. According to Russia's Interfax news agency, the presidential state aircraft IL-96 and a similar size Boeing 777 flight MH17 were traveling along the same route over Poland on the way back from South America. Putin's plane and the Malaysian Boeing intersected at the same point and the same echelon. That was close to Warsaw on 330 meter echelon at the height of 10,100 meters. The contours of the aircraft are similar. Linear dimensions are also very similar. As for the coloring, at quite a remote distance, they are almost identical, says the news agency. But taking the Russian state aircraft down presented a number of problems. If it were downed over the open ocean, fingers would point at America as the superpower capable of global military action. Host nations did provide considerable security to Putin and his aircraft while he was in their nations in airspace. What better place to attack the IL-96 than over Russian airspace near the Ukraine, shortly after it had left Polish airspace? As I have mentioned earlier in part one, the Russians have recently developed a new stealth technology or should I say, redevelopment of stealth technology thousands of years old. Yes, you heard correctly, thousands of years old. Russian engineers devised a way to stealth existing non-stealthy aircraft using a plasma system. This system has no doubt been copied by various Western powers. However, no such system is perfect and highly advanced electronic systems can usually detect a stealth aircraft. They are now working on the black hole project in which the aircraft will disappear completely. ECM stands for Electronic Countermeasures. The presidential Russian ECM aircraft can spoof things by turning off or changing its ID squawking and a nearby large aircraft, the Malaysian Airlines Boeing 777 flight MH17, was spoofed to cover its normal ID code and replace it with the IL-96 code that probably led to the deaths of 295 people on that Malaysian Airlines flight. The Russians at this stage have no advantage to outing the true story. Another conspiracy going around is that the plane was filled up with dead bodies due to the composing of body parts. Let me tell you, if a plane explodes at 33,000 feet and people are plunging down at that altitude, they would turn blue and look bloated from the freezing temperatures and the impact. Interesting to note 
Malaysian High Court finds Israel guilty of war crimes against humanity. The US Zionist globalist supported and funded coup against the elected Ukraine government and the resulting conflict was a calculated effort to draw Russia into a war over the Ukraine and thereby tie it down in order to allow Netanyahu a free hand to create his long-sought general Middle East war. Putin has proved to be a brilliant strategist and not easy to trap. Now once again the worldwide cabal owned media has put the blame on Putin as the bogeyman. The bought and paid for globalist Zionist owned political whores have made careers out of selling out America and Americans. Despite the conclusion by US intelligence that there is no evidence of Russian involvement in the destruction of the Malaysian airliner and all lives on board, Washington is escalating the crisis and trying to shepherd us towards war. At the same time, they present Russia with an ultimatum. Either you let us destroy the part of the population that is ethnically, culturally and historically close to Russia, or we introduce sanctions against you. This is a strange logic and absolutely unacceptable. This type of logic does not work well with Russia. The recipes used regarding weaker states fraught with internal conflict will not work with us, said Putin. Our people, the citizens of Russia, will not let this happen and will never accept. The ABM system, installed by NATO in Poland and inevitably in Ukraine, is an offensive system. Russia must be prepared for war. This week, Putin has called an emergency meeting of the State Duma for reports that are concerning the war in the eastern Ukraine. America's Nazi Allies in Israel and the Ukraine The Cabal Zionist forces have not been able to defeat Syria in spite of the billions of dollars poured into the battle by the West and Saudi Arabia and some of the Gulf Cooperative Council nations. ISIS ISIS is controlled by the CIA RAND Corporation from headquarters in the US Embassy in Ankara, Turkey. There is a military contractor called ISIS that offers services in such areas as role-playing, exercise and evaluations, human intelligence, special operations and unmanned aircraft systems, among other things. Most of their offices are either in the Middle East or the United States and it is a pretty good guess they got the contract to carry out Operation ISIS in the Middle East. ISIS is a PR exercise to bring terrorism into a branded packaged presence which is the normal purview of corporate marketing and PR. ISIS is an Al-Qaeda offshoot. The UN says over 5,500 civilians have been killed and thousands more injured in the foreign-backed militancy across Iraq so far this year. Gaza The three Israeli teenagers who had been missing for weeks were found dead in a pit in the West Bank. Two were 16 years old and one 19, last seen hitchhiking home at a junction near Hebron. Israel claims that three young men were kidnapped and murdered by Palestinians. There are many unanswered questions about how these murders occurred or who is really responsible. Israel has now attacked Palestine once again in retaliation for what many inside and outside of Israel believe is another Israeli false flag attack. According to Barry Chamish, top Jewish writer and analyst, this is a definite false flag. Many also believe that there is good reason for assuming that Israel is falsely blaming Palestinians in order to justify the taking of more Palestinian land and an excuse to advance their eugenics program to depopulate Palestine of Palestinians. How can we know for sure that Israel stages false flag gladio style inside job attacks as a covert policy? The answer is that we know because they have been caught numerous times. 1. The Levon Affair, in which Israel got caught. 2. The Israeli attack on the USS Liberty. We now have intel docs which prove it was a false flag attack. 3. 
the nuclear attack on America on 9-11. Russian and French intel dumps show that Israel did this with nukes. Let's get one thing straight. Israel is controlled from outside Israel. The Zionist Israeli leaders, as well as the Muslim leaders, are all in bed with the Jesuit-controlled Vatican. The propaganda that Israel is only protecting itself against defenseless people, killing women and children, hitting hospitals, schools and a UN refugee center is simply unacceptable. The Israeli military is using freshette shells which spray out thousands of tiny and potentially lethal metal darts in its military operation in Gaza. Cancer-inducing bombs are also used along with experimental artillery. It is highly illegal under international law and is by definition a war crime. America keeps sending untold billions and billions to Israel in spite of the blockade and multiple wars against mostly the civilian population and at a time of economic depression is ample proof that Americans no longer control their nation. World Zionism is now creating immense and direct blowback against all Israelis even though many are not Zionists at all and want peace in the Middle East with all Arabs and Palestinians too. In our thousands in our millions, we are all Palestinians. How could that be if they're our enemies, mortal enemies? Because they're not. It's not a religious conflict. That's a Zionist ploy of accusing everybody of being anti-Semitic. You want peace? You want to have a conference here of peace? Step back and look and read the facts. Not the facts that have been misconstrued by the Zionist propaganda. The global banking cartel families are well into their end game for establishing their long-sought new world order. Their strategy calls for a total global economic collapse and the introduction of a new world digital currency with RFID chips. The coming final battle between world Zionism and Islam that has been set up and pre-staged by the cabal will be deadly and will destroy much of the world and all its religions unless stopped cold soon. Destroying all religions is not a bad thing, but let's do it in a peaceful manner by awakening our brethren with true and hard facts. It will not take that long to expose those lies that we hold as truths today. What will take time is the rebuilding of the belief structures of this planet as we begin to realize the enormity of the knowledge held by our ancient ancestors, one that was so cruelly taken from us. The pyramids have always held the key to world history. All we lacked was the man who would give the builders credit for being smarter than we are, and have the time to look at the fine detail with fresh eyes. Our civilization has grown exponentially around these ancient sites, and the sacred texts of every nation on this earth encode the knowledge placed within them by a single group of teachers whose mission it was to perpetuate a single message. It reads thus, Beware, there are recurring events that are longer than the memory of mankind. Watch the trailer to the new documentary on this channel, Holographic Disclosure 15. Holographic Disclosure 16 and 17